Hello my beautiful souls. So this week is a another special video here on YouTube for you guys. This is a video that I've been getting requested a lot. So we're gonna I'm gonna take you on a little journey of how I come up with my images. But before that, I wanna take a time and with everything that's been going on with the whole Black Lives Matter movement and the protests and all that, I wanted to share this little facts and resources page that has been up and circulating around that has all the information on the petitions that you can sign, on the protests uh, routes and stuff like that, on just information in general about what the Black Lives Matter movement is. So if you guys want to check it out, if you haven't checked it out, I'll post the link down below uh, where you guys can go into it, check it, look, um, go through the website and stuff like that. It's updated very frequently. I believe the last update was done yesterday on the 9th. So please check it out. We just got to continue to stay together and keep on fighting the good fight because this is a very important cause. All right, now back to my bullshit. So yeah, so this video has been requested, has been requested a lot. So I decided to finally do it. I get very nervous when I show my art process for whatever reason. I don't know why, but um, I've been wanting to do it for a while. I've always checked it out, so I finally took the plunge and did it. As far as the program that I'm using, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the program called Procreate. So I finally downloaded it because I haven't, I did, hadn't downloaded it. I used a free app that I found for my iPad. It was the Autodesk Sketchbook, which is a fantastic app. I, I absolutely love it. I've done a lot of pieces, and it has a lot of uh, tools you could use. And it's, I want to say now that I'm using Procreate, it's like a quarter similar to it. Obviously not to the extent of Procreate, but they're both really fantastic programs. One is free. The other one, obviously, you have to pay for, which is $10, which is I don't think it's bad considering all the stuff you get when you use Procreate. Now I wanted to focus a little bit on the image. If you don't know the idol on the image, that's Suo from XO. He is my husband and everything, so that's why I'm going with him. No, but um, when I was coming up with the idea of, you know, doing a timeless video and showing you guys my art process and how I work and stuff like that, I didn't really know or plan ahead on how I was going to do the image. Usually when I do my images, I don't really plan them. I basically pick the person that I want to draw or I go from the reference picture that I want to use and as I'm going along, I, it's, it's when I come up with the actual concept. So the concept for this piece is going to be influenced by the Avatar The Last Airbender. The show recently released on Netflix and it was one of my favorite shows growing up. So I of course binge watched it and it's been on my mind. And while I was drawing the outline for Suo, I wanted, I came up with the idea of maybe incorporating that um, with, with him. If you don't know much about EXO, all the members in their stories have special powers. Um, Suo's power is water or the controlling of water. So I wanted to play off that and the last airbender, so I made him into a waterbender, uh, which I thought was really cool. I wanted to incorporate the sign that's in the show, which is what I'm struggling with right now, trying to precisely do the round curves on the tattoo that I'm putting on him. But basically that's how my art process goes. I come up with ideas and, and images for the actual piece while I'm actually working. Because this was not planned at all. I had no idea what I was going to do. At the beginning of the sketch, you can see that I was going to try to draw a dragon, a water serpent in it. But that completely changed when I, when it clicked in my head that I wanted to do the waterbender. That's how I go little by little. I, act, I actually change a lot while I go. If I plan something and if I don't like it, I change it. And if, as you can see, I have the tattoo on him already. But I like the way it looked glowing. When I did it big, so I did the glowing piece on him too. Um, again, back to the show. If you see the show where the avatars are in their special state, they all glow up with the tattoos, which is why I incorporated that with him. Yeah, it's very fun to see how the images morph from the idea I originally had to what you know I finish up with. It's constantly changing. Even if I finish it completely, I constantly add different things. I might go back and change it, but. I mean, the end result is pretty cool. Another thing that's very kind of difficult for me are the backgrounds. I don't really do much to the backgrounds. I have been trying to work on that lately. Um, especially for this piece, I tried to go a little bit more crazy because of the whole waterbender and, you know, he's with the water. So I want it to be a little bit extra. 
So that's something that I'm definitely working on to incorporate the background to come with this big overall beautiful piece. I am planning on continuing the series with other members and groups so you know keep an eye out if you guys enjoyed watching my rambling and watching me draw. Uh, leave a thumbs up, leave your comments. Like always follow me on social media at inkdies 28 on my Twitter and my Instagram. I'll link down my Big Cartel where you can shop for my prints and art stuff. I'll also link down below my Patreon if you guys want to support me and check out my Patreon and all the goodies you could get if you subscribe to it. I'll also link down the Black Lives Matter uh, resource page. Please continue to stay healthy, safe. I love you guys. So goodbye.